The Awe building is a 90 meter high university building of the TU Delft, designed by Drexhagen in the 1960s. The Awe building is located in Delft, in the western part of the Netherlands, at the southeast side of the old city centre. Here you can see the orientation of the Awe building. The southeast and the southwest facade catch the most sunlight during the day, which can cause overheatings in summers. The main wind direction is the southwest. In the current state the building can cause high turbulences on ground level. The ground level and the first floor of the AWI building exists out of concrete columns, beams and slabs. Higher floors have steel beams and columns instead. The concrete slabs and core transfers the wind forces down to the ground. Due to the thin concrete structure there is little material available for warmth accumulation. The facade exists out of a double skin facade. Because there is no insulation in this facade, it causes a lot of thermal bridges and a high energy usage. The climate inside is regulated in parts of three stories. In summers, the second skin facade is ventilated to prevent overheating. Air is directly drawn from the outside into the HVAC system where it is pre-cooled. Before going to the induction systems of the offices. An air conditioning system can be used for extra cooling. In winter, the double skin facade is used to preheat the air before going to the HVAC system. Afterwards, the air can be warmed up to the desired temperature of the user. The air is extracted through central exhaust in the corridor. To prevent glare on computer screens and solar radiation in the offices, there is a sun shading system of electric lines that the user can control. This analysis gave us insight on the following headlines. Individual control over the HVAC and preheated ventilation air, a high energy usage, a high wind velocity and a high external heat load, natural ventilation and natural energy production, and the overheating of the building and maintenance. These points led to our research question. How to create an individual climate control system by redesigning the southwest facade of the AWI building that integrates specific environmental factors, reduces energy loss and takes maintenance into account. The following references will help us to answer this question. The LCT-1 is an 8-story prototype for wooden structures in high-rise. These structures are more eco-friendly than conventional structures. Between the wooden ribs supporting the concrete floor, there is space for building services. Natural ventilation is possible because the double skin facade alternates with a single skin facade containing operable windows. These can be adjusted by the user as well as the sun shading. Another element integrated in the facade are the photovoltaic cells. These provide the electricity in the building. Parts of green in the facade will turn carbon dioxide into oxygen. The West Garden office is built in the 1970s and is redesigned in 2005 by CVZ. Like other high buildings, it catches a lot of wind. By using a Teflon Plus facade, this wind is broken and enables the user to open windows, as seen in the section. Tension is held on this facade by using a spring system. This also prevents the mesh being damaged by the wind. This mesh facade also reduces the amount of sunlight by 50%. To enhance the comfort of the user, an induction system prevents cold trap. A climate ceiling also cools down the building in summers. The Council House 2 is a 10-story office building designed by McPierce and opened in 2006. To prevent the building from overheating, movable wooden lamella on the west facade and balconies on the north facade prevent direct sunlight from entering the building. Greenery prevents the sun from entering during the morning and evening. The ventilation system consists of solar chimneys in combination with vertical windmills. Fresh air enters the building from the cooler south facade. Excess heat that is produced during the day is stored in the concrete slabs hanging from the ceiling and can be abducted at night. The Aarhus office building is a 125 meter high office building in Dusseldorf, Germany. The building consists of a concrete structure combined with a shaft box facade. The boxes extend the floor and permit natural air supply. The shaft extends over several floors and takes care of natural air exhaust by stack effect. The air supplies through boxes and flows via the room to holes in the shaft. The construction also allows warmth accumulation which can be abducted at night. In extreme situations, the facade closes and the mechanical system takes over the ventilation. 
extra temperature regulation is done by cooling ceilings in summer and facade radiators in winter. A sun shading system also prevents overheating in summers. These references influenced four different design proposals. One which combines a protruded GFRP structure in a shaft box facade, a combination of a green facade and vertical windmills, a wooden construction with a solar energy generating facade, and a mesh facade in combination with the Venturi roof. 